Hey there, welcome back to my channel. It is Tedra Chanel, and I wanted to go over this really quickly. Um, so many people get caught up in the manifestation process, right? They want to know what tools, what techniques work for me. Um, what did you do? Where did you go? What did you read? And because people think for whatever reason we love to think that the answer is outside of us somewhere that it's in a book or it's in the words you know in the experience of somebody else or it's you know in this this religion or theology or whatever and the the secret to the, the secret to life the secret to manifestation positive manifestation Manifestations. The secret to living the life that you really want to live, right? Opening up the possibilities, all of the possibilities, right? People love to say that there's this big secret and I'm really seeking the answer to this really big secret. And there is no secret, really. But we all have to understand and realize that we are limitless beings and there's not a tool other than our minds or a technique that's really going to supersede the power of our minds there just isn't right and i think the issue the biggest issue is that people want an easy fix so if you tell them that you have to work on your mindset, right? If you don't like the results that you're getting, if your reality, right? Your results is not what you really want, right? We have to change the movie that is playing in our minds. Our subconscious beliefs are playing out like a movie in our subconscious mind, right? And that movie in our mind, in our head, is projecting into our physical life, right? Into our reality. <laughs> so if you are not liking the results, then you have to do something to change your mind, to change your mindset, right? And oftentimes people don't really want to do that part. They just want a quick fix. Give, give me the shortcut. There is no shortcut. The work is the shortcut. Right? So, we can either, because we have power of choice, we have the power to choose, right? No matter what you believe in, God, Allah, the universe, infinite intelligence, whatever, all of those energies, those entities, give you the power of choice, the power to choose what you want right and if you're cool with your life with your movie with your reality being the way that it is then god is like you know i'm cool too right i'm not gonna force this great life upon you at all i'm not gonna do that right we can make excuses or we can make moves we can make excuses or we can make some shifts and nothing is really going to change. You know that saying, nothing changes if nothing changes, right? Nothing changes if you don't change your mindset, period. I don't, I don't care how many candles you light, how many ritual baths you take, right? And y'all know I'm here for a good old ritual bath and some good old candle magic and moon magic and all of that. But if you don't, change up here if you don't get to the root of the problem then your movie is always going to be the same okay it's always going to be the same it's going to be sequel right movie same movie same plot same outcome next movie same plot same outcome next movie same plot same outcome right if you want to create a different movie you have to change it up here. You gotta change the script. You gotta flip the script. 
right that's what you have to do it's like a, a movie like let's say tyler perry well he's probably a bad example <laughs> but let's use him anyway so let's say tyler perry uh let's think of one of his movies uh one of my favorites is uh why did i get married okay let's say he he had a one track mind Okay, you know what that saying really means? That one track mind, you're always doing the same thing, you got the same habits, you're getting the same results. That one track mind is your subconscious beliefs that are changing. But let's say, you know, good old Tyler Perry, he wanted to create a different movie other than Why Did I Get Married? But he sat down and he wrote out the same script. He didn't change the narrative. Therefore, what plays out on the screen is going to be the same damn thing that he already created. Right? If you want to change the movie, if you want to change your reality, if you want to change the results that you are getting, you got to change the script. You have to rewrite the script. You can make all the excuses in the world, but if the script hasn't changed, you're just gonna get more reasons to make more excuses, right? That's all you're gonna manifest. It's more excuses, more reasons to give more excuses, okay? If you're not changing the, the narrative, right? If you're not shooting different scenes, you're gonna end up with the same movie. And so this is why so many of you all repeat these patterns got this pattern this pattern of i'm up for a couple of years and then boom i get knocked right back down right and i'm right back in lack and limitation but i was a little bit on top you know i was you know being able i was able to save a little bit of money i was able to shop a little bit more move into a nicer place buy a nicer car but then something always happens right we're right back around to that pattern right something happens and it pushes you right back into your comfort zone of lack and limitation why is that you know it, let's let's go back to the the movie right i can't think of it let me think of a scene oh there's a table scene right where tasha was her name tasha and her husband got into it and then Tasha started telling everybody business. I don't know at what point in the movie that is, but let's say it's at the hour mark. No matter how many times you rewind this movie and play it back, right? At that hour mark, that same scene is going to play out. No matter what, because the, the script hasn't been rewritten. It hasn't been re-recorded. It's the same movie. And this is where that pattern comes into place. So when you hit that one hour mark, boom, we're right back to that table scene where Tasha is trying to wreak havoc in everybody's life because her life is falling apart or her marriage, right? So that's that pattern. That's that pattern of I'm going through life and everything is good. I'm making good money. I'm able to save money. I'm able to travel more. I'm able to do a lot more things that I really love to do. And then boom, you hit that one hour mark. And then you lose your job. All right? And then you got to downgrade your apartment or your home. And then you get your car repossessed. And all the little money that you had saved up, you got to spend it. Right? Because you lost your job. So you go through it very quickly just trying to stay afloat. All right? Hour and a half in the movie. Oh, right back up. Okay, we got our job back, you know, we're able to save some money, we got a car back, we're living in a better home all over again, and then whoop, rewind, playing out, one hour, boom, happens all over again. That's because of the subconscious beliefs. So when things start to look a little bit better, you know, people say, oh, you know what, everything is good, you know, they did a little bit of work, they did a ritual, they did this, they did that, right, they made minor shifts. Right, just just eat a beauty shifts. They didn't really do any real work on their mindset, right? They just put a band-aid on it. So that movie, that narrative, their reality, their results are always gonna be the same. So things are up and then boom, they're right back down again. Then they're up and then boom, we'll hit that hour, they're right back down again. Then they're up, 
right back down again. It's because you haven't made any major real shifts in your mindset. So what you have to do is to go in deep into your subconscious mind, your limiting beliefs. You have to dig out those beliefs and then retrain or reprogram the program that is playing out in your reality. That is it. That is it. There's no secret. <laughs> the secret is you have to flip the script. That's it. You flip the script by digging out all of these old limiting beliefs that are stored and you replace them with edifying beliefs, right? Limitless beliefs. And then boom, your movie is completely different. And you're like, damn, wow, I think back just a year ago and my life is drastically different, right? It's because you made some drastic changes in your mindset, right? The only time you're going to experience a different reality or a different movie is when you change the narrative, when you flip the script. It's the only time, right? But a lot of people don't really want to do that work because that's just too hard. Oh my God, it's going to take forever. And oh my God, I just really don't want to go back to my childhood. I really don't have to deal with that. It was so traumatic and I just can't. Okay. <laughs> Universe says, cool. Rewind. Go play it out all over again. I mean, if this is the life that you love, get it how you live, right? <laughs> That's what the universe, God is up there saying, get it how you live. You don't want to do any real work to shift your mindset, to reprogram your mind, to get different results. That's on you. That's on you, right? So if you guys are interested and really learning how to shift that mindset and to rewrite that narrative and to flip the script. I invite you all to enroll in Ready, Set, Manifest, which is my online manifestation course that is going to teach you how to um, uproot all. Of, first of all, you have to identify them and then uproot all of those limiting beliefs. Okay, it's a jam packed program. There's about 20 um, sessions that are really going to dig deep, cause you to dig deep into your subconscious mind so that you can really start to dig those beliefs up and then replace them with positive edifying ones. So on the screen, you're going to see where you go, which is the alignmentlab.com, or you can click the link down in my description box. But y'all, I'm here to tell you that if you really want to change your life, you're gonna have to do some work. There is no magic pill. There is no magic solution right now the question is how long will it take because people love to ask that question well how long is it going to take how long it takes is totally up to you it's totally up to you we have the power to today what's today um today oh lord my watch is dead today is the 17th of november We have the power to really shift just like that. By tomorrow, your life can start to look completely different than it is today, right? The time in which it takes, is completely up to you, your dedication, your discipline. All right, but I invite each and every one of you to go to ready, uh, not ready, say manifest. I invite each and every one of you to go to the alignmentlab.com, click on ready, set, manifest, get enrolled and get started.